Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this one, I got a really good banger video for you guys. This is going to make your game feel crazy right after as long as you do every step properly and you follow the instructions given. So the first thing we're going to basically talk about is time and resolution and why you should only watch this video and do this video on these specific Windows versions. So time and resolution after the 2020 May update of Windows 10, which is Windows 10 2004. That's the specific version number after that update time resolution pretty much stopped working and you can't really use it how it used to work so the two fixes for that are pretty much you go to windows 11 and you can restore the previous functionality of time resolution with just a simple registry key on, that only works on windows 11 or you go to an older windows 10 version that is below the 2004 version but some of your games might not work as good or they won't launch at all so for most of you this might mean just go switch to windows 11 or go to an older windows version if you don't really care about some of the games that don't work on there but if you are on windows 11 and if you're on those older windows 10 versions that is below 2004 and basically how to check that is pretty simple you just pretty much go to your windows search bar on windows 11 or on windows 10 you just type winver all in one word it's going to open up this and as you can see version 23h2 now it's going to say version 2004 20h2 so it just depends if you're in anything above 2004 and you're on windows 10 then you're gonna have an issue with time resolution not working so either switch to windows 11 or go to an older windows 10 version now once you've done that you can pretty much come back to this video and you can go to the link in the description and download the proper time and resolution pack and this is gonna basically do the most handy work for us so we don't have to constantly switch between time and resolutions and figure out what the best one is and while we're doing this is because 0.5 ms for your time resolution isn't always the best for every pc some people PCs do perfectly fine with 0.5, but some PCs perform even worse with 0.5. So this is especially prevalent on laptops, as I've seen. Some of them even go up to 0.6. The 0.6 is sometimes the best time resolution for them. So let's get started. All you want to do once once you have it downloaded, go to your downloads folder and proper time and resolution. That zip is going to be here. Going to right click on this, click extract all, press extract. The password is pretty much just going to be silly 2024, all in one word, and then just open up the proper time and resolution folder. And if you're on Windows 11 you have to apply this before doing anything please do this so all you're gonna do is gonna double click on this registry file you're gonna press yes and then it's gonna press yes on are you sure you want to continue and then press okay and then restart your pc make sure to restart your pc before continuing after you apply that registry key it's really important all right so you're gonna pretty much go to your put this in your c drive folder right here i'm gonna highlight all of this I'm gonna right click I'm gonna click show more options copy go to this pc local disk right click show more options paste and then i'm gonna click continue as you see all these will paste so i'm gonna go back to downloads i'm gonna go to proper time resolution i'm gonna go to the folder i'm gonna go to stress test and double click on prime95.exe press just stress testing and then you're gonna choose small fffts and we're not gonna press okay yet so we're gonna run this stress test while we're benchmarking the timer resolutions and we have to do this in order to get a consistent result and to get the proper time resolution being called so if you don't run the stress test you will have problems so if you do just do this without the stress test again you're probably gonna be on the worst time resolution for your pc so make sure you run the stress test and just a fair warning if your pc for whatever reason shuts off in the middle of the stress test then that means your cpu cooler your thermal paste or some issue is going on with your pc that is way bigger than just time resolution so if that happens you need to check your cpu cooling you need to check your thermal paste and go replace it but before we get started and press ok again you're gonna have to restart your pc and make sure that registry key is applied or else time resolution will not work properly so i'm gonna go do that real quick quickly start your pc and the registry key is applied and you're good to go that means time resolution is going to work properly and we won't have any issues so before we get started we're going to go to our powershell you're going to type powershell in the search menu you're going to run as administrator make sure you press that press yes and as you can see powershell will be as administrator now go to the description of this video you're going to copy the powershell command that we're going to be using so just copy it paste it in here press enter and then you're going to press a and then press enter again and this is going to make sure the script for the micro benchmarking of the time resolution is going to work without any issues. We're going to go back to our Fire Explorer. We're going to go to Downloads. We're going to go to Proper Time Resolution. We're going to open up our stress test and then choose Small FFTS. Press OK. And as you see, it will start stress testing our CPU. And we're going to go back PowerShell. Make sure it's an administrator. This is a really important step. We're going to type CD dot dot. And we're going to type CD dot dot. And then we're going to type Micro. And then we're going to press Tab on our keyboard. Micro Adjust Benchmark dot PS1. Make sure it says that after pressing Tab. And then we're going to press Enter. And as you see, it will start 
benchmarking the time resolutions for us. So as you see, it's gonna take about 5.1 minutes for this test to finish up completely. So let this run for about five minutes. Don't really mess with your PC. You don't have anything else open. Just have the stress test and the micro adjust benchmark right here open. And once it's done, the window will close and then you can close out of the stress test. So I'm gonna let this do its thing. So as you can see, guys, it's gonna be almost done here in a second. So it's gonna close out here in now. So it's gonna say results are saved in results.txt. So that's gonna be in our C drive. So just ignore that for now. All we wanna do, we're gonna go to Prime95. We're gonna click exit on the file. And so that pretty much just lets the PC stop stress testing itself and it should quiet down now. So once you're here, all you wanna do, you can close out of this now. And all you wanna do is go to your C drive and you should find the results.txt file. And it's a really important file. We're gonna be dragging this into a graph visualizer to see which time resolution gave us the lowest delta, which basically is the lowest latency from one MS. So we want that time resolution to get us as close as to one MS as possible. So this should show us which of those time resolution values gives us the lowest delta, aka the lowest latency from one MS. So let's see what we are working with. So go to the graph link in the description and it's going to take you to this online graph maker. And by the way, guys, this is all thanks to Emmett on GitHub. So go visit his GitHub if you are looking to find more information about this. Basically, all the stuff that we're using is from his GitHub. So really cool guy, really cool cool stuff and definitely really really helpful and it's kind of crazy that people like that are making tools for us to use like this so we're gonna click on import we're gonna click on upload and then we're gonna go to this pc local disk and then choose the results.txt make sure you choose this right press open and as you can see it will load up this whole sheet right here so this is really important all you need to do is click trace change the type to line x change that to requested resolution ms y change this to delta m's so as you can see it's pretty much all over the place but basically all you want to do is look Look for the lowest point which is going to be right here 0.52 so as you can see you just need to look for that and if you need to zoom in you can zoom in like this for example and you can look at the lowest point here but as you can see this is the lowest point it gave me the lowest delta so 0.52 gave me 0.036 deltas so that's the difference between one ms so that's just 0.036 so now once you find this out once you find this value go back to our fire explorer right click on set time and resolution click show more options create shortcut just press yes go to your desktop right click on set time resolution shortcut show more options properties space in target after set time resolution exe and this is really important this is a really important command so we're going to paste the command from the description this is just going to be the stock command if you haven't run the benchmark so make sure that you don't just leave it like this we're going to be changing the 0.5 so as you see resolution 5000 so this is just basically after the point that's what the this means so for me 0.52 so i'll change the next zero after five to two so as you see it's going to be 5000 200 so basically you just do the same thing so for example if it was 0 0.508 it will be 5000 and then 80 so you just do that and once you do that just press apply press ok and then right click on this you're gonna click cut you're gonna search on the file explorer shell colon startup press enter paste this in here and as you see from now on time resolution will automatically start on your pc every time you turn it on so you don't have to do this again or constantly open up this file you start your pc and this will automatically run so i'm gonna double click on this just to double check something so go back to this pc local disk right click on measure sleep click when as administrator press yes and as you can see our delta is pretty low 0 0.03 0 0.03 so as you can see one ms and then whatever delta it is so this is really low it's pretty good for a stock windows installation with no optimizations so this is really really good and basically you just want something similar like this if you have like weird hiccups where it shoots up to 0 0.5 instead of 0, 0.0 then you might want to try a different resolution from this graph like maybe a little bit higher or a little bit lower but again you just want to make sure that you use whatever the lowest is on this graph so for me it was 0.52 for you it might be completely different or completely high or completely low it doesn't really matter just make sure you get that number right and then you put it into the shortcut of set time and resolution and then you're pretty much good to go you can pretty much delete the measure sleep file and results files you can delete these but just keep set time and resolution in c drive because this will run every time you start up your pc but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this guide every time you start up your pc you should have time and resolution running in the background and to double check that just go to your task manager scroll down and just find set time resolution running so as you can see it's right here it's running constantly and you don't really have to worry about it again so really important guys again this only works on windows 11 and on windows 10 versions that are older than 2004 so if you're on windows 10 2004 or above this is not going to work if you're on windows 11 it's, it is going to work just make sure you run the registry file that is included in the path but anyways guys this should drastically change how your game feels this should make your
your mouse feel literally insane. You'll have better aim, you'll have lower input delay, and everything should be snappier and faster. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, comment down below what you guys thought about this video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to make sure you never miss an upload. And if you guys are interested in a PC optimization service completely done by me, and pretty much go over all of your bio settings all the way to the custom OS and through your window settings and just general stuff like this that not a lot of people know about or is not really that popular, then go to the link in the description and book an optimization service. But that's going to be it from you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.